Hey guys, it's Miss Bailey. And if you remember, earlier we had read the book Haiku Hike. And so it taught us how to write haikus and what to look for for inspiration. And so today you and I are gonna take a haiku hike. So if you look over here, you might have seen my table at the beginning. I have a trusty old campfire, a lantern ready for camping, my binoculars, because I might find something interesting. And because it's so hot outside, a trusty canteen. Fill that full of some fresh water and you're good to go and go around your neck. In fact, on Friday, you're going to get to decorate your own canteen. So this is a real one. And then what you're going to need for our activity is you're going to need your Monday reading bag. And it should have the haiku hike. Let's take a haiku hike. You'll see it's got laminated board on the back. This is your uh, clipboard. And then you're also gonna need to grab this sheet as well. This is your haiku hike snapshot. And then you want to grab your trusty compass. Ooh. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a walk around the yard and we're going to fill out our haiku hike, okay? So it says, while we are on our haiku hike, use a haiku to capture a moment in time. So we're wanting to look and see what do we see, what do we hear, and what do we feel? And remember, while you're taking your field notes, you don't have to write in full sentences. You can just write a couple of words. So I'm gonna put my name at the beginning, Miss Bailey. Field notes, all right. So, now I'm gonna turn it around. I have a trusty friend who's gonna help us on our hike. All right, boys and girls, we're going for our haiku hike. So, we're looking around and I'm looking at things that I see. Oh, look what I see over there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see if I can get close. There's a couple of squirrels and they're playing. So I might want to jot down on my notes, squirrels playing. Let's see what else we can see as we're walking around. Some other things I see are green grass and green trees. Let's see. If I'm quiet and I listen, I can also hear birds chirping. So I might wanna write down on my haiku hike field notes, I might wanna put down there birds chirping. I also notice things like, look, there's flowers. I see flowers and they're blooming. Let's see what else we see. Oh, I see some other flowers down here. Oh, I hear cars too. You can see there's some more flowers. And so if I look around, there's all kinds of cool things. Let's see if we see or hear anything else. Trusty companion, do you hear or see anything? Oh, yeah. It looks like some, like the, uh, the little dandelions are trying to grow, aren't they? Let's see what else we see. I also, something I hear is as we're walking through the grass, the sound. <gasps> I heard a woodpecker. There's a woodpecker that lives all the way down there in that tree. Oh, and I see some bugs buzzing. So all of these things are things that I can put down because those are things I see and I hear. And the things I feel are the grass. I feel them beneath my feet. 
Your other birds now. Mm-hmm. There's that woodpecker again. That live over there? There's one that lives right over there. You see behind our house? Mm-hmm. Like, not behind, but like you see where the person behind you is? Mm-hmm. There's a woodpecker that lives there. Oh, there's a bug. I don't know if you can see. I think it's flown away. I can feel how kind of muggy it is outside. Oh, we found some mushrooms. Good find. Mushrooms growing. So if I was trying to describe this, I want the things that people could picture in their minds, almost like I had given them a picture and shared it with them. And remember, it says that we have to have seasonal words. And so right now, it's warm. It's starting the summer, right? So, let's see. Yeah, Oh, here's some other flowers blooming. We had some blackberries that were growing, but I think we picked them all. I don't know if there's any back in here or not. I don't see. It looks like they all dried up, the ones that were back here. I know there are some over by our mailbox. Well, I think we got rid of those. But as you can see, there's vines growing. There's flowers blooming oh i can also hear an airplane flying overhead all right so let's go back sit down write down the things that we are seeing and that we remember hearing and feeling and we're going to start making our haiku okay so i'm sitting back down and I've got my field notes. I wrote things like squirrels playing, woodpeckers, birds chirping, cars going by, bugs flying, flowers blooming, green everywhere, summer, muggy. So those are all things that I found. Those are things that I would describe on my hike or on my walk. So then I'm going to have to make three lines and the first line has to have five syllables. Let's see, I'm gonna put the world is green. I'm gonna see, does that have five syllables? Okay, the world is green. Nope, that's only four, so I'm going to have to, to do something else. Let's see, green is everywhere. Oh, that would work. So I'm gonna change that. Green is everywhere. So now I've got to find seven syllables. So I might wanna put something like squirrels playing. There's three. Let's see. Bugs. Flying. Let's see how many that is. Squirrels is two. Playing is two. Bugs is one. And flying is two. Oh, right. So I've got seven. So now I've got to end it up with five more syllables. So I've got green is everywhere. Squirrels playing. Bugs flying. Let's see. Summer time is here. Okay, so let's see. Green is everywhere. Let's see if we've got five here. Summer time is three. Well, that's a crazy bug that flew by. Is is one, and here is one, so there's five. Wow, 
Now, sometimes it doesn't happen that quick. Sometimes you have to keep going back because you've got too many or not enough. You need to put in a word, take out a word. So, now that I have what I want, I'm going to come over here to my haiku hike snapshot. And I'm going to say, Miss Bailey. Okay? And then, I'm going to write, Green is everywhere okay and then I'm gonna put squirrels playing bugs flying and then I'm gonna put summer time is here now you're not going to be writing exactly what i write because where you go on your hike you're going to hear and see and feel other things but this is just an example and then once i'm done i'm going to take some crayons and i'm going to color all around the outside and i would really really love to see your haikus so get an adult or older brother and sister to snap a picture and if your family is on facebook Go to the 21st Century CCLC, uh, LCES Paul's page and get them to post a picture. I would love to see your haikus. All right, I'll see you in a little bit because we're going to do some fun camping math. So grab your uh, bags for math and we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, I hope you had fun on our haiku hike, and I hope you wrote some really cool haikus, and I look forward to seeing all of them. I'll see you soon. Bye!